Hello, I'm Joe Hans from Load Cell Systems. In this short video, we'll demonstrate the H7000 Precision Load Cell Tester. This load cell tester is different from the standard handheld testers on the market. This is a benchtop design that can also be used in the field when necessary. It has an internal rechargeable battery that gives about five hours continuous use on a single charge. Another important difference is the accuracy of this load cell tester. It is much more accurate than other devices used for testing strain gauge load cells. The H7000 is not only used by load cell manufacturers, but also scale technicians or maintenance personnel responsible for maintaining a large number of scales in their facility. The tester aids in troubleshooting load cells and quickly gives the operator a clear insight of the load cell's condition. There's a foot switch applied with the tester for high volume production environments. For the load cell connection, we supply two cables, one for four wire and the other for six wire load cells. Let's demonstrate the load cell tester in use. We're connected to a six wire load cell. This yellow lead is connecting the body of the load cell to, to measure the resistance between the body and the bridge. Um, it's very simple. You just can make all your connections, hit the start test button. And this is, gives you a very quick insight of the load cell condition. Uh, we've got the input and output resistances. Uh, you should refer to the load cell calibration certificate or the load cell manufacturer spec sheet to make sure these are within the range. We have the bridge balance, which is very good information. Um, most of these should be within one ohm of each other. If it's more than, more than an ohm, generally it means the load cell may have been overloaded. Uh, we've got the insulation resistance, which again is the body of the load cell to the bridge. And then we have the external resistance, which is referring to the the screen or the uh, shield wire to the body of the load cell. We can adjust some settings here for that may be useful in a production environment. Over here, we can change some settings. Let's say the sensitivity millivolt per volt. You can set a threshold. So if it's above or below the threshold, when you take the test, that parameter lights up red if it's out of range. You can do the same thing for input and output resistances. Uh, it's very useful if you're testing the same type of load cell over and over again. So you, let's say you've got 20 load cells that you suspect may, be, may have issues. You can set this up to make it quicker and easier for the operator to say whether the load cell has been damaged or not. So for example, this, this box here would light up red if it was out of tolerance. That's really about all there is to it. Um, it's a very simple device, but effective and extremely accurate. You can also use it as a, a regular scale head or a precision millivolt per volt display. It's a 24-bit resolution, so it gives you very accurate results. Um, insight so you can also scale this to pounds or kilograms and use it like a regular scale head and if you were testing a load cell that you feel may not be linear you could you could load the load cell with various weights and see if see if it is in fact uh, linear or within its published specification range um, again that's that's about it thanks for watching